Hello, welcome to the online academy of Irish music. I'm Paddy Cummins and you're very welcome to my banjo technique course. In this lesson I'm going to be looking at a very fundamental technique on the banjo. Uh, it's called the triplet and there's many different kinds of triplets. This one we're going to be studying at the moment is just your basic or conventional triplet and uh, we'll be looking at more sort of advanced versions of the triplet as the course progresses. I'm going to be playing a tune for you now called Toss the Feathers and in this tune uh, it, it awards a lot of opportunity to use all different kinds of techniques so I'm going to throw in, I'm going to just play it my way, put in lots of different ornamentation and um, just listen out for the triplets and, and various other techniques and then in the next part of the lesson we'll slow it down and we'll, we'll learn the tune phrase by phrase and we'll put the triplets in. So here we go with Toss the Feathers. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at the tune. We're going to dissect toss the feathers. I'm going to teach it to you phrase by phrase. We'll just look at the first part for now. And as we're going through the phrase, I'll suggest places where we can put some basic triplets. So let's look at the first phrase of the tune. The first bar of the tune goes like this. So on that first D, we can do a triplet because it's a long note. You can hear the long note. So let's play it like this instead. And let's just play it on four. One, two, three, four. And remember to keep the triplet as down, up, down. And the next note in the melody is another down stroke. Okay, just be aware of that. Okay, so now the next phrase. Okay. A, B, C, A, G, E, C, E. Okay, on four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so there's no place really we put a triplet there. So let's play the first two phrases together. One, two, three, four. Okay. And the third phrase. The same as the first phrase. We can throw that triplet in again. Let's just play it again. Three, four. Okay. Now the next phrase. Jumps up to the high D. D, E, D, open E, C, A, G, E. Okay. Now the D again is long, so we can throw a triplet there as well. So let's play it like this. Be aware of your plectrum motion. So try it after four, three, four. Three, four. 
and just try it once more. Three, four. Okay, now let's play from the beginning with the two triplets we've learned. Well, the three triplets because of the repeated phrase. And uh, yeah, just try it after, uh, after four. Three, four. Okay, now let's look at the next section of the tune. A lot of it's actually similar in the first phrase or two. It goes like this. Okay, so it doesn't go down to the C this time, it just hangs on the E. And again, we can, uh, we can make those sort of repeated E's a triplet, so we can go. Play with me after four, three, four. So it's one E and then a triplet E, okay? So it's, okay? And also just to be aware, it's down on the fourth E, then down again for your triplet. So down, down, up, down, and the next melody note is another down stroke. So don't get confused about putting in up strokes where there's down strokes. That's that's the correct way to play it, so be very aware of that. Remember, reels follow a down, up, down, up, down, up motion. But when it comes to triplets, that can kind of change. So just be just be aware of what I'm saying. Okay, so uh, let's look. We're going to play the second half of the tune, okay? So I'll just play up to where we've learned so far in the second part of the tune, or the second half of the first part. E-roll, okay? Then it changes. We have... C A B G A B C A. So three, four. Okay, and then the the last phrase of the fourth part is kind of similar to the phrase we did a couple of bars back, which is. Alternatively, you can go. I'm just trying to put in as many triplets for practice as we can. I wouldn't, we would normally wouldn't put that many in, just so you know. So, uh, let's just go through the first part of the tune twice. It is repeated. And put in the triplets, you know, where, where we've learned them so far. So, on four. One, two, three, four. And the second time through, to go into the second part, just one note changes, it just goes... Okay, it goes up to the C again, because we're, we're going to a higher part of the tune. So, my advice is to nail the first part before we even look at the second part. Keep practicing it, get used to the triplets. Don't worry, don't play it too fast, play it nice and steady. And when you feel like you've nailed it and you can play it off by heart, move on to the second part, the B part in the next section of the lesson. And don't forget to look at the accompanying ABC and sheet music. I've got it all written out there with all the ornamentation as a guide for you. So, you know, use that as well. Um, and when you're ready, move on and look at the B part. Okay, so I assume you have become comfortable with the A part of the tune. And if you haven't, go back and practice it. <laughs> because you're not really supposed to <laughs> learn all tunes in one chunk, you know. You learn them in sections. Okay, it's not a race. So, let's look at the B part of the tune, the second part of the tune. And this is it then. When we've learned the B part, we've learned the whole tune. So, I'm going to play it for you, uh, phrase by phrase. 
and again I'm going to add the triplets in where possible. I'm not suggesting that you play triplets there every time but just so you know these are sort of basic and simple options. Okay so look the first phrase So it does three A, D, D, Ds, and then E, D, C sharp, D. Now, D, 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 that's one crotchet and a, dot, a dotted crotchet in length. So you can do a D and then a triplet. If you follow me, A, D, D triplet, A, D, D triplet, A, D, D triplet. Overkill, question mark? Yes. But... For practice sake, let's just do it, okay? So, this is the phrase I want you to play. Okay, so on four, do a little bit slower. Three, four. E A A G A A G E A A G E D C sharp D. Just give you the notes again. Check out the notation that comes with the with the chorus as well if you want to. Use, use them as a, as a helping guide or whatever. So let's just play that again. Now on the long A there you can throw a triplet. Okay, and then the next part. seems like a lot in once. I'll just play the phrase isolated for you again. It's just a big long one out so E F G E A F G E F 